Hi, thank you for joining us for the Newton Design Series for Neutron. With me, I have Armando. Armando, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, hi there. Uh, yes, my name is Armando Migliaccio, and I've been the Neutron PDL uh, since the Mitaka release. Uh, I work for Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'm based in the San Francisco Bay Area, working for OpenStack and then OpenStack for a few years now. Very nice. And can you tell us a little bit about Neutron as a project as well? Um, so yeah, I mean, a few words. Um, and Neutron is the networking project within the OpenStack ecosystem. Um, its mission is to create uh, technology agnostic abstractions uh, to address the networking needs of service providers, enterprises, and telecom operators that deploy OpenStack deployments. And yeah, we, we basically focus throughout the entire ISO OC stack, you know, from L2 all the way to L7 services. Got it. So we're about a month approximately from the Austin Design Summit. So what were some of the hot topics that you and your team discussed at the summit and what were some of the outcomes? Um, in Austin, we, we had a number of um, I think, you know, exciting sessions. Um, there's usually lots of uh, <laughs> yelling, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's good discussions and we, we've agreed on a, num you know, a number of key areas and on the path forward for, uh, for, uh, for a few things that I think we're no longer overdue. And in particular, we, we talked about how uh, we could um, transition the existing Neutron client over to the OpenStack client, uh, which is, you know, this, the latter is, is, you know, something that's been going on for a while too. And, you know, we, we uh, talked a little bit about how, again, how to make that transition happen. Um, another, uh, we also discussed on how, how to provide um, more sophisticated troubleshooting uh, tools for users and operators. Again, this is also like a, a, an overdue area uh, of improvement. Uh, and we also talked about how to streamline uh, our, um, our internal uh, you know, software management processes uh, so that the various initiatives that happen under the Neutron project umbrella or as you know so-called stadium uh, get better visibility within the wider ecosystem um, and you know lots more got it and so the primary audience viewing uh, this design series interview will most likely be operators and users so could you highlight a little bit in Newton design in Newton what you plan on doing that you identified as a user need that you're addressing yeah um, so one area that we're going to invest quite a bit this cycle uh, is um, how to improve the ability to troubleshoot networking issues. I mean, uh, we, we talked about this for a while now and we're slowly converging to a solid abstraction. I mean, and this is particularly important for, for users and operators who are faced uh, usually with, uh, you know, with, the, with the inability to effectively troubleshoot and pinpoint where, where issues um, exist. And um, helping operators dealing with deployment and scalability issues is also another key aspect that we've been discussed extensively, especially in relation to, to the software routing solution that Neutron provides. Um, modeling new ways to, to deploy uh, Neutron over existing data center networks is also going to be one of the major achievements that we hope to make, you know, make happen for Neutron, and there's many more. Great, sounds exa exciting and agree. I think that's definitely a user need that needs to be addressed. So overall, what are the top three priorities uh, for new features or enhancements to existing ones uh, for this cycle? Okay, um, so you, I think in, uh, it's difficult to come up with like just three, but I mean, you can expect to see three major enhancements at the end of Newton. Uh, one is better troubleshooting capabilities, as I've said a few times now. Uh, and this is beneficial like for, for, for all stakeholders, right? Uh, anyone is, uh, is going to be happy to see that. Another key achievement that we're aiming for, uh, and particularly uh, that which is NFE focused, is about providing the ability to trunk many net to neutral networks together and expose them to a virtual function via a single attachment point. 
this is um, this is also uh, going to become relevant for, for bare metal deployments like Ironic. Um, and I think finally we've been working on this. We've been working this for like for a, for a few for sometimes so for a few cycles now, and we're going to um, provide a new way to model data center networks in a, an L3 centric fashion, uh, which is a big shift from from the way Neutron has been operating uh, up until now. Um, so yeah, this to me I see like the, the top three priorities as well as challenges. But yeah, I um, hope we'll uh, you know we won't uh, we won't disappoint our you know our user base. You got it. And now if we go up one level, if you will, so the product work group and the OpenStack community, we've been using this concept of themes at a broad yeah. you know at a broader level to kind of identify buckets of focus for projects. So the themes that, that exist are scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, mm -hmm. and interoperability. Which themes uh, do you think Neutron is focused on for, for this cycle? Well, we, we try to uh, you know, strike a balance and, and toggle all of these themes uh, together. So you, know, you see that there are uh, themes within you know, the larger group of folks who are you know, focused in Neutron, uh, who are going to spend time and, and, and energy in, in tackling uh, issues in each of these like, buckets, if you will. And, um, as far as scalability goes, I think the primary areas that that uh, um, so the primary areas that Neutron delivers are like in L2 and L3 services, and uh, we have been working to identify and resolve like control plane bottlenecks for both L2 and L3 operations. Now you know we reached a point where Neutron is deployed at scale, and you know we're getting field feedback as that some things you know don't you know don't work as they. they you know, they should be. And there's been an ongoing effort in that addressing how, you know, control planes scales out when dealing with the creation and management of, of certain L2 and L3 constructs that Neutron handles. Um, as far as the resiliency goes, um, since Midaga, uh, since again the past cycle, it is now possible to create software routers that are both like distributed and highly available. And in Newton, I think we need to we need a few extra iterations to make that capability rock solid and again uh, uh, behave well at scale. Um, you know, thinking thinking about manageability. Um, Again, back in Miraga, we we improved the experience for the end user greatly with uh, uh, with the orchestration, you know, with the Get Me a Network orchestration, if you know, if, uh, uh, as as it's known. Uh, that capability allows users to provision network topologies at the push of a single button, uh, like a simple API. And in Newton, we want to iterate so that um, that provisioning model can become more flexible and address the various networking topology needs that uh, operators may have. Uh, so you'll see again an increase, you know, better, better manageability on that front. Um, I think you mentioned modularity too, right? Um, and uh, the journey of uh, breaking down the, the neutron code base in manageable pieces has started a few cycles back. And, um, the journey is, is obviously still ongoing. I mean, there's, there's lots that still need to be done, and we, we're learning what makes sense and you know what doesn't. And you know, it's it's a, it's a it's a learning experience, process, a learning experience. So we do learn through experience. And again, I mentioned the stadium, the Neutron Stadium before, which is the stadium is namely the like the the, the list of projects, initiatives, the project initiatives that the Neutron team endorses, and as and that that has going that's been going through a number of transformations. Uh, and and uh, the transformations, you know, we're aiming at addressing this very need of modularity and how, you know, how we can, you know, we can improve the way the various bits, the various bits and pieces fit together. And one aspect that we're gonna be focusing on amongst others is how we can improve how the load balancing as a service module within Neutron uh, fits within, you know, fits with Neutron and resolve some of the integration issues that exist. Uh, to deliver like uh, to deliver load balancing services effectively. Um, so, as far as a little bit interoperability goes, I, I, one area that has been discussed for a while now is um, how to effectively connect like two data planes across you know two or more separate open stack deployments. So it's not just about like federating like identity, but it's also how okay, can you make like two separate networks. Uh, behave like if they were one. And there have been a number of proposals on the table for a few years now, and I think that 
we got to a point where there is you know, criminal mass and uh, I think now is the time is right for looking at these uh, uh, side by side and start defining you know which one makes sense for which use case because not you know, not everyone obviously uh, you don't have obviously a silver bullet that uh, it's like one size fits all so again we, we we have we have some work to do in order to better identify how you know how we, how a solution is fit for uh, for what for the for type of use case and we aim at you know the uh, tackle that aspect too um and yeah i mean that, that would keep us busy for a while for sure absolutely well thank you so much for joining us armando and covering neutron uh before we go is there anything else you'd like to add for our viewers um no i mean usually i've been asked you know uh, to you know what happens after after the, the you know the, the the current release so what what like what happens in 10 12 months time and i usually i, I usually struggle to give an answer to to this this type of question because in open source is, you're never really in full control and um, we usually are very ambitious we try to end up you know we end up sub oversubscribing ourselves and i see the, uh, some of you know some of the things that we talked about during this call and some of the things that we wanted to you know we want to tackle in newton will end up obviously you know spilling over okata and um and typically like some of some of the efforts that i even mentioned like uh, during this call have started prior to Newton. So they are typically like multi cycle efforts and um, um, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll, uh, we'll uh, throughout this, you know, throughout this journey, we'll, we'll, we'll still be able to deliver value at the, you know, at the end of each release. I'm probably stating the obvious, but it's always, it's always good to like keep hearing it because otherwise, you know, it's, it's like again, you feel like, okay, at the end of the release, what have I actually done? So, um, yeah, uh, it's, uh, I think it's important to iterate that, you know, it's, it's multiple iterations, it's a, you know, an, an ongoing journey. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me.